another chest x-ray and let's have a good look uh, the lung parenchyma lung tissue is uh, made up of alveoli means nemocytes type 1 and type 2 cells bronchi pulmonary arteries and veins and also interstitium which is the space between alveoli of lungs that contains tiny blood vessels lymphatics and interstitial fluid that is leaked from blood vessels around alveoli it also contains connective tissue which provides structural support to the lung the lungs are a bit smaller in volume if you have a good look at the lung parenchyma especially on this side here uh, and here you will see an increased pattern of linear and reticular markings means there is a net like pattern is spread throughout the both lungs on top of these markings you can see a small cyst like uh, structures and some nodules as well pulmonary arteries look a bit bigger that indicates increased pulmonary arterial pressure secondary to lung condition heart is a bit enlarged the diaphragms are not as clear as they should be the x-ray is a very classic example of fibrosis fibrosis uh, can cause decrease in lung volumes or sometimes destroy elastic tissue without changing lung volume radiologists will often describe what they see rather than making a final diagnosis however as in this case an x-ray can be the first reliable diagnostic tool first to indicate that there is something seriously wrong and also to direct treating physician in the right direction although there can be two dozen uh, conditions that can present like this this patient is suffering from cryptogenic uh, fibrosing alveolitis cryptogenic fibrosing alveolitis Hamann rich syndrome idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis diffuse interstitial fibrosis idiopathic interstitial interstitial pneumonitis are all different names for the same condition with unknown cause cryptogenic and idiopathic both means uh, the of, of unknown cause or unknown origin and fibrosis means literally uh, scarring of tissue it is a progressive condition that gets worse with time in initial stages cells in lungs get filled with neutrophils macrophages lymphocytes and monocytes and later on interstitial spaces get filled with collagen and fibroblast collagen is the main protein of connective tissue and fibroblast are cells that actually make a collagen interstitial space gets filled with fibrous tissue and hinders the process of gas exchange patient suffers from ventilation perfusion mismatch often oxygen thera therapy in late stages is not helpful as oxygen cannot pass through the collagen filled interstitium chest x-ray will show different patterns depending upon the stage ground glass appearance interstitial lines as in this case reticulo nodular pattern this is a very good example of uh, reticulo nodular pattern symptoms biopsy pulmonary function test x-ray presentation all help uh, making uh, a diagnosis nearly all patients show signs of pulmonary hypertension in late stages high resolution CT scan of chest uh, in a different patient showing a honeycomb pattern and uh, so these are honeycomb uh, cyst and fibrosis is visible throughout both lungs 
and some of the interstitial lines are also visible quite clearly. This is HRCT of chest. A normal chest x-ray with normal volume, normal heart size, vessels clearly visible, uh, branching off and tapering off in clear hemidiaphragms.